Today we got something special for you guys. This is one of the biggest stages in the freaking industry right now. And today we got an all Indian lineup, except me. Is that all right for you guys? Make some noise! Listen up, listen up. We got to thank two guys right now. We got to thank Mr. Hardwell and we got to thank Mr. Shalandra Singh to make this all freaking happening. If you're ready to feel me right now, clap your hands and make some noise for these guys. But hold up, we ain't finished yet. It's going to be a wicked party today and tomorrow. This is it. You know why we do this? Wow, that was an amazing set by the one and only Hiron. You saw the crowd jumping and enjoying his records and his set and everything that happened around. Wow, it's already been to a higher level right now. Um, this event is, of course, surely sponsored by people that are close to the World Guest List, Guest List for Good Foundation and Magic Bus, of course. Um, I would like to take a time and just mention them for a few seconds just to show our love back to the sponsors that help us get through these events this weekend. Um, Integrity Dance Music empowers us. Uh, the digital part, of course, is Facebook. And it's an initiative of G4G. Our style partner, well, not actually us, but most of the style partners, is also Integrity. Our charity partner is Magic Bus. Check that out. I've I got to be honest, I love Magic Bus. In association with Strayo, and of course, in association with the best Indian beer I know, Kingfisher Premium, and of course, Bus India. Lastly, I have to thank two special guys. That's, of course, on one hand, Mr. Shalindra Singh. On the other hand, Hartwell. Those two guys made this event happen. Made India proud of India again. And last but not least, welcome in the studio, the one and only Sean. Thank you. Super pumped to be here. How are you, man? Good, man. How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah. So excited. You were here two years ago as well. Yeah. Um... How was your experience the last time? Oh, man. You know, you were there. I was there as well. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. it. I think the first year is always the biggest, always, always the craziest, and then always one of those moments where you don't know what to expect. And it's, it's the same feeling. It's like the first time again. It's this time with guests, it's like super first time again because you educated those 80,000 children. Now it's 100,000. So it's more exciting this time. Yeah, I agree totally with you. And, of course, now we're going to take it to a higher level. Yeah. You know, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be more massive, more people, and hopefully more education of the children. Um, you played at Tomorrowland, Ministry of Sound, uh, World Club Dome, Korea. How is this stage for you uh, compared? Are you nervous or, or yeah. because it's India? Or how do you see it? Oh, like today is the Made in India Day, of course, and um, stage as it is is pretty big. I'm like a little ant on it, and I saw I, I saw it go up from. One and we were pro tracking the progress of it, so I'm nervous because I have to do justice to that stage. And um, all those festivals, World Cup Dome, Korea, Tomorrowland, they've always had a special place in my heart because they've always they're big stages to play on. But this one has my heart on it. So, <laughs> and then talking about your heart, um, um, the goal that we have, uh, the, uh, educating the children, yeah. uh, what does it mean for you? A lot because. We actually today went to the, to the Magic Bus Foundation in the morning and we got to hear some of the stories of the children that have gone through the process after the World's Biggest Guest List show with Hardwell two years ago. And it was amazing to see what they go through and how much we have and how much we do take for granted. And um, the goal of educating children, like we're educating our future because I'm Indian and I'm proud to be Indian and those people are Indian as well and they are our future of the country. So... For me, it's a big, big, big issue that they aren't. There's so many uneducated children out there, and for me, I love learning. I've I finished along with music. I finished university, and now I'm even doing more and more courses every every month, doing new courses and certificates because I know how important it is to grow. And being able to give a platform to those hundred thousand children, even if it's just the smallest platform to just learn something and grow, it's the biggest, biggest thing that I could have done in my career. And I don't think I can do anything more special. No, I totally agree with you. You know, for me, it's it's the same. And I've been to India a couple of yeah. times, and every time I see India grow, 
think it's really positive the the future that India has has, has gone into, yeah. especially with the, with the children. Um, today is an all Indian lineup. Yeah. Uh, does it make you proud to see like we can we can give a complete spectacular Indian lineup yeah. today? I'm really excited. Honestly, I was there for the sound checks of uh, Mithun and Adnan, and um, oh, I'm so excited because at the end of the day, as you said, everyone should be proud of where they're from, where they've been brought up. Um, I'm proud of the Indian always. I carried the flag to Tomorrowland. I made sure I raised the Indian flag up first before I took out the Tomorrowland flag because that's where I'm from and that's where my roots are based. That's where I started. So to be able to provide, well, to guess this for us, to give a platform to us and trust us to fill up a stadium of 50,000 people is the biggest honor. It's something huge, it's right, for, for India as well. Yeah. And we had, um, we had talks where we were confused, like, do we do it, do we not, do we do it, do we not? But at the end of the day, it was just yes. Because if we don't support our own, then what's the point? True, I totally agree with that. Um, you have a new single coming up, End of yes, the World, as yes, I yes, think yes. I uh, heard it and I saw the video or I, I heard the track. Um, what can we expect from you in the, in the near future? Oh, End of the World is one of my first singles this year. And um, it's a song very, very close to my heart. I've had it for two years now. And it's a song closely associated with the festival because... It's all about love, and um, this festival is all about love. So, the new year I've got nine releases scheduled in, and that makes wow. my manager standing there very, very happy. Uh, but yeah, we have nine releases scheduled, and maybe even one more once a month, which would be. So, great. if if I can all like gather it up, we are proud to be Indian today, or not? Yes. Let's I think say that. You all are family. I'm all almost family. I'm almost Indian. <laughs> I feel, much I feel Indian. like Indian sometimes. And <laughs> I love this country. So I gotta say one thing to you guys. India, you can be proud to be an Indian.
man's not hot. I said, man's not hot. I said, man's not hot. The girl told me, take off your jacket. I said, babe, man's not hot. Yo, man, you gotta be hot.
Thank you so much, Bombay. 